Okay, hello, my name is Taz. Today I'm going to be showing you very quickly how to install Daggerfall Unity, as well as how to install mods. It's all very simple, and even better, it's all free. And like I said, I'm going to be doing this super quick, so let's get right into it. The first thing you have to do is go to Steam, and you're going to want to find Daggerfall. This is just the standard copy of The Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall. It's free on Steam. You just have to add it to your library and then install it. It's only about a gigabyte, so shouldn't take too long. So once that is finished, you're going to want to go to the first link in the description. It's going to take you to github.com. And when you get to this, you're going to want to scroll down past these pictures to these right here. If you're using Linux, you're going to want to click that. If you're using Mac, you're going to want to click this one. And if you're using Windows, it will be most likely this one right here, 64-bit. If it doesn't work for you for whatever reason, try the 32-bit, but more than likely you're going to be wanting the 64-bit. So click that one. It's pretty quick, only about 50 megabytes. So once that's installed, you're going to want to open it up and you have these files here plus the application as well. Now you can extract this to anywhere. I'm going to extract it to my desktop in a folder titled DF Unity. And I'm just going to extract these in there. All right, so now that is our game file. You can put that wherever you want. I'm just going to leave it on my desktop for now for quick access. So inside of that game folder is where the next step comes in. You're going to want to click Daggerfall Unity. You might get this pop up from Windows. Um, you don't have anything to fear from Daggerfall Unity. Plenty of people use it. There's no risk of virus. Just click more info and it'll, it'll bring up this option, which is run anyway. So you're going to click that. When you first boot up Daggerfall Unity for the very first time, it's going to look like this. If you look down here, it tells you Daggerfall contains a folder called Arena 2. So we just have to link the original Daggerfall folder that we installed from Steam to the Daggerfall Unity game folder. So to do that, you have to find where the original Daggerfall is installed, which is in Steam. So mine is actually on my D drive. A lot of you will have it on your C drive in program files and then Steam, but mine is in games, steam apps, common, and then should be in the Elder Scrolls Daggerfall. Click that. And then DF and Dagger. And then you'll notice that the screen turns green right now because it's located the Arena 2 file. So now that you, you are inside of the, the Dagger file, you're going to click OK. And now it's going to give you some, some boot up options. You can edit your resolution, edit your graphics quality. So once you've decided on your settings, go ahead and hit test and then OK. And now you're on the Daggerfall Unity main screen. You're ready to play if, if you don't want to mod. If you do want to mod, over here in the left, you'll see a section called mods. Click on that. You'll see that we don't have any mods installed at the current moment. This is where we view all of our installed mods. Go ahead and exit out of Daggerfall Unity and then head to the final link in the description. It will take you to Nexus Mods slash Daggerfall Unity slash mods. I'm going to be showing you three different mods to install because all of these mods are installed slightly differently. But either way, pick any of the mod that you want to install. All right, once you've clicked on it, go ahead and move over to the file section. More than likely, it'll be the first version, the main file. Click manual download. Now this is a very important pop-up. You'll want to pay very close attention to mod requirements. Sometimes it won't have this notification telling you the mod requirements because some mods don't require anything, but this specific one does. So if it says mod requirements, uh, Actions Framework is the one that I have to install alongside this one. Install it the same exact way, files, manual download. So just like Daggerfall Unity, you can install those wherever you want because we're just going to un unzip them. We'll open up your Daggerfall Unity file. So the first mod I'm going to show you guys how to download is one called Random Little Quests. So once you've got your mod opened, go ahead and open up Daggerfall Unity data 
in the Daggerfall Unity game file. And then streaming assets. Streaming assets is the file where all your mods are going to end up in one of these, these files. So this inside of this zipped file that has our mod, there's a file called quest packs. So what's in here is going to go in this file. So go ahead and drag the files from the zipped folder into the Daggerfall game file. That mod is installed. You don't necessarily have to have the readme file in there, just, just those three. Now, if you remember, the random little quest is the mod that required Actions Framework. So I'm going to open up Actions Framework. And as you'll see, this one has a folder called Mods. So I'll go back to Streaming Assets, find the folder that's called Mods, open that one up. Any file that is inside of the Mods folder is going to be a .df mod file. So that is going to be dragged into the mods folder. That is all finished. I'll show you how to install dynamic skies now. So inside of the dynamic skies WinRAR file, we have alternative presets and mods. So let's go into streaming assets and we'll open the mods. Same exact thing. It's a .df mod file, so it's going into mods. Now you'll also notice there's a file in here called alternative presets. If you open that up, you'll see that they're .df mod files. There it is. .df mod. And like I said before, anything that's a .df mod file is going inside of mods. But these are just alternative presets. So you you only need one dynamic skies .df mod. So if you want, you can cycle through all those, see which one you like the best, but you do only need one of them. All right, so that mod has been installed. Now we're going to move on to Dream. So I'm going to show you how to install this one because it's among the most popular ones and can be a little bit confusing. There is a little installation guide file in here. If you want to take a look at it, you always can. If not, I will just run you through it. For the most part, it's exactly like the other mods. Now, I don't personally play with the reshade file. There is a reshade readme uh, in here, but I'm just going to show you how to install the actual Dream mod, not the dream reshade. So firstly, we've got the mods file, which has got all of these. So you're going to want to drag all of these into the mods file in streaming assets. All right, once that's done, move down to presets. You'll notice that there is not a presets file in here. Since it's alongside the mods and alongside the spell icons, which are all which are all inside of the streaming assets, you know that the presets file also belongs in the streaming assets file. So what you're going to do is simply create one by dragging it over. And now you've got a presets file. Now you move on to spell icons. Simply drag spell icons into the spell icons file in streaming assets. It might ask you to replace. If it does, do that so you get the modded replacement. But you don't have to worry about these down here, uh, you just have to worry about these three files, mods, presets, and spell icons. So that one is completed. Now that our mods have been installed, we're going to want to open back up Daggerfall Unity. And we'll go over to mods once again, and you'll notice that it's filled with our mods. We've got the actions mod that we installed. We've got all of our dream plugins, We've got dynamic skies. And what you're going to want to make sure is that all these mods are enabled. They usually are to start out, but always double check. All right, so now you are absolutely ready to play modded Daggerfall. Hopefully that was quick enough. If this tutorial was helpful. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. It would really help me out. If you have any questions or have any troubles, please let me know in the comments. Until then, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.